Yo guys, Spazzo along here. Today we're going to give you some tips and tricks on how to build and protect your base. The main concept that I want you to take away from this is the word honeycombing. Honeycombing is adding extra layers to the outside walls of your base. The first example I want to give is how do we honeycomb the walls of our base. So the average base has a square foundation with a wall. This wall is what protects the outside from the inside or the inside from the outside I guess. Now how do we add extra layers to that? Well you could add a square to that outside and then add another wall. And by all means that works but it only adds one extra wall. So how do we put additional ones there? Well it's a basic super easy concept. We add triangles. Triangles now give us three walls to the inside. So no matter which way this person comes, if they go through here, they have to go through this one, this one, or this one, and then they'll have to go through this one as well. That's three walls, which means they're wasting even more resources or time to get through into your base. The second example I want to give is entrance ways. This is the same thing as the honeycombing before, but this time it's with doors. I just wanted to show you this so that you could see that it worked. Now you have the one door, you go in and see you have two more doors. That's two additional walls or doors to get through. And you have the three doors. Now, in order to get through, if they go through the doors, they have to go through three and not just one, or if you add a square, two. Now you can add additional protection but this is just the beginning of what you should be doing to protect your base from offline or online raids. Now the last example of honeycombing I wanted to give you is kind of the more intricate approach. This is going to be for those people who are hardcore and really want to protect their base. This is going to be the inside of their base right here. And this wall would be the outside wall, right? Well, when you build your base, if you want to add extra layers, but you want even more than the three, what do you do? Yeah, you can just keep building outwards and outwards and outwards, but if you are limited on space, this is going to be the best way to protect it. First, we're going to assume that I'm standing inside the base. This is the square that represents inside of the base. This is going to be the outside of the base. So we put a square there and then another square. Now, the concept that people don't understand is this square is actually larger than a triangle. So you see how there's a gap there now. Well, if we add, if we pick this up, we can now change that to a triangle and put this there. Now, what does that mean? We can build one wall here, and then guess what? We can build one wall here. Do you notice what's happening? So now, in order for them to get through the base, or into the base, they have to now do one wall, two wall, three wall, and four wall. You obviously want to add triangles and you'll finish it up. I'm not going to farm all that. This is a live server, so uh, bear, th bear that in mind. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or comments about this, absolutely feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I just wanted to throw some information out there, uh, get it rolling, maybe possibly keep it in the meta. Because if we're going to win the, the big fight, we need to be protecting our bases the best possible way. Good luck, have fun, don't die, and may all your hits be crits. Peace.